Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I'm Larry Weinstein, and I'm both a CPA and the founder of SolveMyTaxProblems.com, based in Houston, Texas. And today I wanted to answer the question, can I specify when a collection due process hearing, also known as a CDP hearing, can I specify when that hearing will be held? And the answer to that is no, actually. Um, a CDP hearing, as you may remember from a previous video, is a hearing in which we speak to the IRS and we put together some type of acceptable alternative to the IRS, be it installment agreement, offering compromise, or getting ourselves currently not collectible. Once we apply for the CDP hearing, and remember, we have to do that within 30 days of receiving the final notice of intent to levy. Once we apply for the CDP hearing, if it's done timely within 30 days, then we must wait for the IRS to come to us and give us our assigned date when we will have our hearing. Now, in practice, that can be anywhere from 30 days to 60 days. To, to even six months or even a year, and I've seen in some instances. So we don't really even specify when that hearing is going to be held. All we do is we apply for the hearing, and then the IRS will assign us a hearing date, and at such time when we have our hearing, then we present our suitable collection alternatives that, that are acceptable to the IRS, and we put our solution in place. We have our CDP hearing. That's it for today's video where I discussed can we specify when a collection due process hearing will be held. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you soon.